Hey guys and welcome to my channel Current Budget and Plan. Today I want to share with you a video about eating from your pantry and your freezer to save you some money. Um, so basically the reasoning behind this is that if you know exactly what you have in your pantry and exactly what you have in your freezer it will in the end save you some money on your weekly or monthly grocery shopping. Um, so as you know every week I assign myself 100 euros for my grocery budget um, and towards when I've um, when I videoed this on the 26th of March um, I only had 62 euros of my grocery budget left for the remainder of the month so I needed to take stock of what was in my fridge my freezer and in my presses up here um, and I needed to make some of the the um, meal plan from what we had in stock in the house before I went food shopping um, and that is what I did and then you can see at the end I share with you what we have in um, in list form the week after so the week of the third of October so one week later I share with you what we have left um, and yeah so I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I hope you get a little bit out of it and um, so let's jump in and see what we did so guys, this is my kitchen, don't mind the mess, I just did the dishes. Um, so over here is where I have my fridge. So here is what's currently in it. And then my freezer down here has three drawers. Um, then in this press here we have some stuff. Then here. And then finally here. I also have these few pieces down here um, and also this is what I'm making for dinner today so usually I go shopping on a Thursday which is today but I didn't get to go because um, I went for lunch with my mother and then I took Ava um, dancing so now it's dinner time um, so I found these in the the press so I'm going to make chicken vol um, but basically what I want you to do is to go through all of your fridge work from shelf to shelf to shelf to shelf um, everywhere all of the shelves then work down into your freezer so right down right down to the bottom and then over to your presses so work your way through your pantry as well and what I want you to do and it might seem oh my goodness look at the dirt of that I'll have to fix that um, it might seem a little bit extreme but I want you to write down every single thing that you have you can weigh stuff if you really want to um, or you can kind of guesstimate like there's like a tiny bit of pasta in here um, that sort of stuff um, write down exactly how much you have how much is left every single thing um, onto a sheet of paper and um, then I will share with you what I want you to do after that so I went through my list so this is the freezer list you can see this is what we keep so far in the freezer then the in the presses is all of this stuff Lots of it's just kind of like bishy stuff, you know, end of bottles, end of that sort of stuff. Then over here is what is in the fridge. Um, so again, it's like three quarters of a thing, half of a thing, like that sort of stuff. So I also put like my food waste because I told you I'm going to be tracking my food waste and I'm going to do a whole different separate um video on that but I did throw out a number of things today some of them were um, at their best by date and that sort of stuff but what I want you to do with the list that you've just made is to go through and look at it really intently and I'm just trying to find an empty page in my other um, here we go so I want you to go through each of the things and figure out what you can make as a dinner because that's the whole point of this week we are trying to live off of what is in our fridge and our pantry we may have to go for some stuff like I know I'll need to go get more strawberries um, but generally I am going to try and live get like the majority of our meals this week out of it so um, I'm going to include today, which is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 
and Wednesday and um, as you know as I said to you there I'm making chicken volivants with the leftover chicken that we have so it's actually going to be chicken and mushroom volivants to use up the mushrooms the chicken and mushroom volivants and then um, something that's in our freezer so that is the king size volivant case that are left and um, but these sort of fried chicken this here um, that's what we're gonna have tomorrow so we're gonna have um, so I need to remember to take that out and put it in the fridge to defrost so we're gonna have sort and fried chicken and potatoes so there's a bag of potatoes left after I use a bag of potatoes today um, so that would be this one and um, this one and the mushrooms so it's sometime later when I'm recording this and I have Ava my daughter here across from me coloring um, so basically we have two days of the dinner so Saturday Saturday um, we are going to be eating out with friends and on Sunday um, Sunday we mostly get dinner at Robert's parents sometimes we do sometimes we don't um, but I'm not going to include those two days in this um, so then that leaves us with Monday. So Monday I'm going to do um, just a really simple chicken curry and rice. Um, and basically that's going to use some of the chicken fillets that I have here. So like half of those, half of the chicken fillets that I have um, alongside some onions. Um, onions, I'm going to use up the... Hello, Mia. Well, hello, Mia. Say hello. Hello. We will call it. You call her in. Got my... Okay, go. Hey. Me call it. Good girl. Oh, uh, uh, she, Mia. You're there. I can see you. Can she hey, look at here. Me, can me see my picky? No. Big cloaky. Okay, go that way. Me, call it. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, me, rainbow. Yeah. So, it used up. Um, I'm going to use some of the onions. Also, there is a little bit of curry sauce down here that I'm going to just make up with water. Um, so it's chicken curry, onion, pepper, with rice. So that is that day. So that uses some of this pepper that we have here. Um, if there's any mushrooms, I'll use those as well. Um, and then on what else are we gonna do let me see oh yeah I want to do um, a macaroni a macaroni like pasta bake um, so I have some macaroni in the press um, And then I can't quite remember. That's okay, you can pick it up, baby. Um, so I have this book that I use. This is like my favorite go-to like book for easy peasy recipes. Um, so I have this book and I'm just gonna see. I saw um, a macaroni bake. Here it is, a macaroni cheese bake is what she called it. Um, so macaroni. 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 So it says, I need macaroni, butter, flour, milk, um, mature cheddar cheese, nutmeg, and then I can add like peas, sweet corn, fried onions, mushrooms if I want to. Then I need some breadcrumbs, parmesan cheese, and then some thyme. And I have all of those things. Um, Hello, Mia. So that is what I'm going to be doing. One second, now, baby. 
macaroni. And then the last thing I'm going to make is, you can see it here, maybe, is going to be Hunter's chicken. And potatoes, more than likely, like roast potatoes. Um, so basically Hunter's chicken is your chicken fillets wrapped in bacon oh, where it has like pistachio and there's some sort of seasonings in there as well. Um, so yeah, so basically we'll kind of be left with a, a good amount of food still. Um, but having this list will definitely help me this week. And then I'm going to come back at the end of, um before I go shopping next week and um, share with you again, gonna make out a new list, mark off all the stuff that I did use um, and yeah, that is it. And if we don't go out on Saturday, I'm gonna do like microwave potatoes, just something to use off lots of stuff like microwave potatoes. Hi. Hi. Some beans. That Hi. sort of stuff. Hi. Um, so yeah. And plus I'm going to have to do the food shopping as well. And I'll show you what I got. I picked up on the food shopping. There won't be any meat. But there will be um, like some Bye. veg and that sort of stuff. So it's now the 3rd of October and you can see that um, this is what we have used from our fridge. So this is the fridge list that I shared with you and you can see we have um, some of them are wiped off automatically and then some of them are just reduced. Um, you can see how we're going down there. There's still some stuff like the chorizo um, and that sort of stuff that we haven't yet used but we, I will use this coming week. Um, and the same with the freezer. So the freezer, we have used most things except for like the mixed veg and all that sort of stuff. And um, and the pantry or my inside my presses. That's an awful lot of staples like sauces and honey and all that sort of thing. Um, so we've used a good bit. And then today I did my list out. And this is everything on one page. So this is everything that we have left in the fridge. Now this is after doing the shopping which I shared with you um, in the last clip. Um, everything that's in the freezer. And then everything that is in our presses. So yeah. Basically, I achieved what I wanted to do, wanted to achieve last week, um, as in only spending the 62 euros worth of groceries. And um, I also plan to just keep doing that going forward. Keeping a running list of everything that's in my pantry will help me in the long run. So as you heard me say in there, keeping a running list of what exactly is in my fridge and my freezer will help me in the long run. Every single either Wednesday night or Thursday morning before I do the groceries, I'm going to make up my list like you saw me doing on the third or you saw me sharing with you on the third and I'm going to take stock of everything probably on a Wednesday I'm going to do it because that's when I do up my meal plan for the week um, and I'm going to mark everything down and figure out what I can make with the food that we have already in stock and that's what it's all about because if you have chicken and potatoes and veg you know that's a whole meal that you don't need to worry about and you don't need to spend money on for the coming week and um, so do that Make a list of everything that's in your fridge, your freezer, and your pantry. And don't forget, if you have a deep freezer, um, you have to include that because I bet you you have a lot, a lot of things in your deep freezer that have been there for a long while. And either you have to kind of rotate them out because they have gone past because there is only a certain amount of time that you can deep freeze things. Um, or um, they've probably gone past that time. So it's a good time to take stock of everything that you have in your fridge, your freezer, your deep freezer and your pantry and your presses. Um, take stock of what it is and make out the meal plan like you saw me doing in this video and that's how I'm going to keep doing that going forward um, and as I shared with you in another video I do still have my list where I am tracking my food waste and I will be sharing with you the kind of results of that will be over I think like a three week span um, maybe even a four week span 
um, of stuff that we've thrown out and that's stuff that we have sitting in our fridge. If it enters our fridge or our presses, it is, um, it's gonna be classified in my list if I, when I throw it out. But that is for another day, another video. And um, I hope this video has helped somebody um, you know or even if this is something that you do that you do now sorry I have a little bit of a brain freeze today if it's something that you already complete now on a weekly basis or a monthly basis let me know down below if you have a different technique and how to do it because just because this is the way that I do it doesn't mean necessarily that that is the right way for you everybody has different ways of doing things so I'd love to hear if you have any um if you have a different way of doing it or if you have any suggestions based on today's video please do leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you guys and um, that's it thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video Bye.